What is going on, everybody? It is Big L here, and this is week two of our NFL Pick'em Challenge. As you can see, last week was good for some people, not so good for other people, namely me. And we have the standings up there. I've already added the Thursday night game, which we all got right. Um, we all had the, we all had Washington, and. Um, we have Lucky in first place with 14 points, Gators in second place with 11 points, Bucks in third place with 9 points, and me in 3,000th place with 5 points, because I'm awful. So, thoughts on last week, everybody? Go Texans! Uh, <laughs> yeah! No, big time, go Cardinals. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that was... I was that was something. That was really something. I tried to outsmart the room, pick the Colts. That didn't work, obviously. Um. So yeah. So let's let's get right into it. Let's get into our first game that we disagree on, and that is the Cowboys and Chargers. Me and Lucky have the Cowboys. This is Lucky's upset pick of the week, as where Gators and Bucks took the Chargers. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and say with why, why I took the Cowboys. If you'd have told me before the, before week one, hey, Lauren, that's my name, by the way. If you have if you guys didn't know, congratulations, name drop. Anyway, hey, Lauren, week two, you're going to pick the Cowboys to beat the Chargers. I'd have called you a damn liar. They looked that impressive to me on, the, on opening night. The Chargers didn't look that impressive last week against Washington. Hey, yo, Cowboys got the long week. I'm always, I always like a team off of a long week, and so that's why I'm picking. That's why I'm picking the Cowboys. Uh, Lucky, why do you? Why did you pick the Cowboys? I also thought the Cowboys looked good last week, um, and Chargers. Who knows? But also the Chargers are at home, which for most teams is an advantage. For the Chargers, I think it's a disadvantage because they don't actually have any fans. So the whole thing is going to be filled with cowboy fans. So, yeah, I just think it's more of a home game for the Cowboys, and I mean they played the Bucks close, almost beat the Bucks. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if they'd have beat the Bucks if the line would have been, uh, if the Cowboys would have been favored even on the road. So, so who knows? All right, so uh, Bucks, why do you have the Chargers? I think it's going to absolutely be a shootout. I think it's almost bound to happen, but Demarcus Lawrence is out, which is the Cowboys' best defensive player. And Tyron Smith is also suspended, who's honestly probably their best offensive lineman and their left tackle. And the Chargers have a Bosa. So it might be rough for the Cowboys this week. We'll see. So, all right. But, uh, Gators, what about you? Uh, yeah, I pretty much agree with Box. I agree with everything you guys said. Um, but I'm just, I just want to see more consistency from the Cowboys before I start picking them against a team that I think is going to be in the playoffs or uh, definitely a contender. It'll, it's a tough one, but I, I don't know. I just want to see some consistency. That's fair. You know, I think, I think this game is very easily, like, very much a toss up. I, but yeah. but like I said before, like if you'd have told me before week two that I, I would have thought this game was a toss up, I'd have called you a liar. Like before, if you told me before opening week, I mean. But, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pause. I think my my sound is messed up, so I'm gonna pause for a second. All right, and we're back. Sorry, my I, I didn't have loop playlist on, so it started playing something else while we were in the middle of talking there. So, <laughs> all right, so next game is the Bills versus the Dolphins. Me, Lucky, and Gators all have the Bills, and Bucks picked the Dolphins. So, what is your mindset there, Bucks? Bills just look so bad. They do. They look awful. I want, I want them to prove to me that this isn't going to be some good season hangover, you know? The Dolphins have a good defense, and their offense can pose threats. Can. It all depends on Tua. 
but I have I have a little bit of faith that they'll be able to squeak this out because it's not like they haven't seen this team before. That's true. So they they definitely could be ready for this, and if they saw some things they like that the Steelers did, they could you know hone in on that, and we'll see. I think this game I think is gonna be a really good. game. Yeah, I thought about this game, and we all know, you know, after the week zero picks like how high I am on the Bills you know I picked them to win the Super Bowl and I picked Josh Allen to win the MVP and everything but after how bad they looked last week I really thought about this game I really did and I, it's just like this like last week if you told me before the season started hey you're gonna actually be thinking about this week week this game week two I'd have called you a liar absolutely but I still think the Bills. I, I don't think the Bills. I think the Bills don't lose. Don't play that bad two weeks in a row. That's why I picked the Bills. What about you, Gators? Yeah, I agree. They obviously were not super impressive last week, but they were also my uh, picked at least to make the Super Bowl out of the AFC. So I'm not gonna jump ship on them yet, just because the one bad game. Kind of similar how I feel about the Cowboys. Just the opposite spectrum of it. Yeah. God bless it. It's doing the same thing again. I'm gonna... Sorry, one second. All right, we're back. The background music is just not going to not gonna happen this episode, so we're going to figure it out another time. So, Lucky, what about you? What are you and the Bills? What do, what do you think? I just don't think there's any way they lose this. Like, they're a good team. I think the Steelers have a really good defense, like maybe one of the best in the league. And so they were just making Josh Allen look very uncomfortable and I think he settles down and they get right back to business um and I had them as one of the top two teams in the AFC before the season so I think they're gonna continue to do that just had a week one hiccup yeah that's what I'm kind of thinking too but like I said I agree with everything Buck said you know they they, they did look, they look they did, it's not like they played like the Chiefs and lost a really close game week one like they looked bad last week. Like that's that that's what you know kind of scares me a little bit. But moving on, we have Here's the thing: the Steelers have no offensive line. They yeah, no offensive line, and they still were able to pull it out. So we'll see. So moving on to our next game, we have the Rams versus the Colts, and Gators pick the Colts in the upset. While me, Bucks, and Lucky pick the Rams. So, what do you think, Gators, on the Colts? Um, I don't know. I just think good offensive line, really good defense. This is kind of a gut feeling pick. I don't really have a good reason for it other than that. Okay. Right. Uh, Lucky, what are your thoughts? I think the Rams looked really good on uh, Sunday night. And, like, they were always good before, and now they have an actual quarterback throwing them the ball instead of Jared Goff. So, um, <laughs> I think they might be the, they're definitely one of the top teams in the NFC. Yeah, for sure. Like, I think the same thing. Like, I'm obviously higher on the Colts than the average person, but. I just think the Ram, the Rams looked so impressive last week. Like obviously, I I tried to throw a dart at the board and pick the Colts last week, and we all know how that worked out. Um, but I do think you know this is just a I do I do think the Colts are a good team. I think this think they they got unfortunate with scheduling, got two really good teams the first two weeks. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I just think the Ram the Rams looked really really impressive last week. They really did. And so did and Stafford in particular. Stafford played great last week. Stafford looked really good. Just shows, you know, what kind of, <clears throat> how good he actually is you know, whenever he's got some talent around him. Because we haven't mm-hmm. seen that in a long time in Detroit. So, uh, Bucks, what about you? What are your thoughts? You guys said, I mean, Stafford looked great. You, you'd figure it would take him just, you know, just a little bit extra time to, you know, getting rhythm with the receivers, but he was just throwing darts all over the mm-hmm. freaking field. They, they, they look really good, and of course, their defense is fantastic. They gave away a bunch of picks to have this short window to win a Super Bowl, so. Yeah. So, yeah, go for it. 
for, for them, they're desperate to win because they need to since they mortgaged a lot of their future. Yeah, they did. So, all right, moving on. This is then this this next one is the last game that we just we have a disagreement on. Not not a lot of disagreement this week. And that's the Bears versus the Bengals. Gators has picked the Bears, and while Bucks, Lucky, and I have all picked the Bengals, this is my upset pick for the week. Whenever I looked at the lines, whenever I made my pick, the Bengals, the, the Bears were two and a half point favorites. So I was like, I think I think the Bengals looked fantastic last week. Joe Burrow looks like a dude. And the Bears, I said week zero, I think the Bears are going to be better than people think. And they, they, they were not better than people think last week. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> but, I mean, that's against the Rams. That Rams defense is going to make a lot of teams look silly this year. But, Gators, what, do you, what, what are your thoughts here on the Bears? Uh, really good defense. Allen Robinson, I think, is one of the better or more underrated receivers. Um, I like. I think David Montgomery is pretty good too. I just not really sold on the Bengals at all. Okay. Uh, Bucks, what are your thoughts? I honestly, I really liked what the Bengals were able to do against a defense that has been together for a while as that same defensive-minded coach, and they were just throwing the ball everywhere. Joe Mixon looked incredible against the Vikings. The only difference is the Bears have Khalil Mack, Mm -hmm. who could completely disrupt the entire offense. But I think they, the Bengals have enough weapons to where they're going to keep that defense on the field for a long time and probably tire them out. He said he would until 2.30. He hasn't said anything since then, though. So, uh, Lucky, what are you? What are your thoughts here? Because I, I mean, at first I thought it was just uh, like thinking and, uh, that I was going to be the only one picking the Bengals because uh, I don't want the Bears to win. <laughs> I don't know why I was too crazy. Yeah. So strict. Um, but <clears throat> but I didn't think the Bears looked good at all, at all, and the Bengals did. And also, yeah. I think. Most other players, you'd be like, oh, revenge game against their former team. But I think it's Andy Dalton, so I think it's going to have the opposite effect, and he's going to play like absolute mm-hmm. shit. That's fair. How long How long do you guys think it'll be before Justin Fields starts playing? Uh, Probably before it, halfway, okay. if I had to guess. What do they say? Mm-hmm. They, I think they said the coach said they wanted to wait till like after week five or something. I don't know. I don't see that doesn't make any sense to me. Like it's not it's not like you've got it's not like you've got a stud, you know, starting at quarterback and you've got him sitting behind some really, really good player. Or I mean I can understand maybe if like it was a situation with the Dolphins last year, you got him behind a guy who's playing really, really well. You know, like with two of last year, like Fitzpatrick was playing really well. Probably it's not like six. But, I just I just think that you just let him learn as much as possible, right? And then once he feels completely comfortable, then you let him come in. Because honestly, he, he he's better than Dalton right now. Because he can run the ball. He definitely has a better arm. But I think it's just coming down to him being comfortable with the offense and the way uh, Nagy wants to run it. And like I'm not I'm not high on Ohio State quarterbacks. Like that's why like, I, I'm a Panthers fan. Obviously, I really didn't want the Panthers to be drafted. I I'm I'm not high on on Ohio State quarterbacks on Urban Meyer quarterbacks. Not not high on. Them. Name name the last one that was any good in the NFL. Exactly. You couldn't name one. No, no, maybe maybe he's the exception that proves the rule. I don't know. But I do think right now he's better than Andy Dalton. Yes, hundred percent. I think they I think they just put uh I do agree I, I, with them uh, putting in Dalton to face the Rams though. Yo oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't want you don't want um your first rookie quarterback is experience is Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. Yeah, yeah, you don't want Donald crush him and breaking his spine. Yeah. So <laughs> We'll move on now. Uh, games that we agree on. We all have the Patriots. We all over the Jets. We all have yeah, uh-huh. Jets. Well, <laughs> yeah, they looked bad. Like they looked so bad. They're gonna get tortured this game. It's gonna be bad. Uh, we all have Denver over Jacksonville. Um, I yep. think yeah. Uh, we all have the 49ers over Philly, which I thought I thought someone might pick Philly. Philly looked good last I week. Was, I was close. I was, I was close. I, was, I, was I think close as well. I I thought Philly looked good last week. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know what the heck that was. <clears throat> Is um, one of the Niners home? 
I don't. I don't have. I need. I need to do that. I think it's in Philly. Uh, hey. uh it is in Philly. Huh. Is it? An, uh, is it? An, is it an early kickoff Philly. game? One o'clock. See, I. I don't. I, maybe I should. Maybe we should go to Forty Nine. Oh, is that? Is that going to be the one that's actually on? I'll see if it's actually on TV. Um, we all have. We all like the Steelers over the Raiders, which that's another one. Like the Raiders played really, really well Monday night, but. You know, short week. Pittsburgh looked really good last week too, beating beating the uh, the Bills. Um, we all have Cleveland over Houston, which that's not a surprise in my opinion. Um, we all have the Saints over the Panthers. I really wanted to pick the Panthers, honestly. I feel like they looked good, and I feel like the, I feel like the Saints kind of played their game of the year last week. I really do. You're gonna tell me Jameis is gonna play that good two weeks in a row? Fuck no. Really? Uh, yeah. So um, unless Sean Payne unlocked him, I don't see it. Yeah, I, I, that's why I, I kind of wanted to pick the Panthers. I really did, but I was like, nah, I don't want to be a homer. <laughs> um, we all liked Arizona over Minnesota, uh, and that is me and Buck's lock for the week is the Cardinals over the Vikings. Yes, sir. Um, we all liked the Bucks over the Falcons, and the Falcons they looked yeah. they looked terrible last week, didn't they? Yeah. Um, we all like Seattle. Over Tennessee, which the Titans looked god awful last week too. Man, um, we all like the Chiefs over the Ravens. Which how crazy would that be if the Ravens start zero and two? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually. I, mean, I think I'm actually kind of kind of regretting it. I think the Ravens are. The more I think about it, I think the Ravens might actually end up winning it. Oh, uh, after that, after that comeback win, like. The Chiefs, like the Chiefs, look good. Whenever, like in that net, net comeback, they looked really good. So I don't know. They maybe, maybe they decided, you know what, we're not, we're not going to mess around with people anymore. We need to show off. We need to show off that we're the class of the AFC again. And then, of course, we all had the Packers over the Lions, and that is Gators and Lucky's locks. Um, I, I don't think there's any way the Packers play that bad two weeks in a row. Like, there's no way. I don't think. There's no it's way they're gonna against the Lions. Lions. There's no goddamn way. Yeah, the Lions. There, look, there's no way. <laughs> they look. How bad did the Lions? I tell you, for for as good as Stafford looked with the Rams, golf with the Lions was an absolute dumpster fire. But besides, they did. They, 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 they did almost come time. back. They almost came back and won. Almost. Almost. But but yeah, that was a whole lot of garbage oh, time shenanigans. I was gonna say, was it actually close, or was it just that the Niners just took their foot off the gas? Oh no, the Niners definitely messed up a lot. Oh, I, I didn't the see end. the game. A I just lot. had the Lions close the gap. It was, it was it was bad. I think it was a mess. What three times? Three times in like like twenty something points in two minutes or something. Well, they got an onside kick and they forced a fumble on Dino oh. Samuel. Oh okay. So, so yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't particularly close, <clears throat> but. No, it wasn't. Cl- it, there, there was like a twenty-point lead, and then just shit went sideways. Off the rails. Yeah. It went off. The, it went <laughs> off the rails. So, uh, does anyone have anything else to add for the week? Like anything they want to say about a particular matchup they didn't get to say earlier, or? Uh, I really, I'm actually excited to see the Seattle Tennessee game because if Tennessee loses. I think it's going to be bad for them. Hmm. Really bad. Yeah. I, I just can think see that. early early season Russell Wilson is unstoppable until like week seven hits. You have to look at it this way, right? With Tennessee, their main asset is Derrick Henry. And if they go down early in games, what are they not gonna do? They're not gonna run the ball, kill the clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's just gonna it's gonna be yeah, it's, a mess for them. It's definitely. I mean, you look at the receivers they have now, like with Julio and AJ Brown. You look at the receivers, but it's it's still a team that very much feels like a team that can't get behind. No, yeah, like they can't. You you yeah. This but you look at those weapons, you think, oh, they can they can score a lot of points really quick. So if they get behind, but but that defense is so bad. It, it's atrocious. Like it's if atrocious. if they get behind, you think it's their it's not it's not their offense that can't. You know, get them back in the game. It's their defense that can't get them back in the game. Yeah, and look at their offensive line now. That's suspect as hell. So same issues the Packers had. The offense can put up game, put up points late in the game, but if the defense can't stop them, it doesn't matter. Yep. And that was a stat. I got. I work with a guy who's a huge Packers fan, um, and uh, I was talking to him. This is a couple years ago, 
And I was like, I, I think it was like something like uh, in Aaron Rodgers' playoff losses, the Packers averaged scoring like 32 points a game. Yeah, like it was in, like 37. <clears throat> yeah, it was, it, was, it was some ridiculous number. Yeah, it was definitely, it was, it was, it was really in the bad. 30s. It was like, and that's, and that's just his playoff losses. So I'm like, those, those aren't his fault. <laughs> like, if you're scoring over 30, 35 points in playoffs and you're losing games, that's not your fault. Skip Bayless will tell you otherwise. Well, Skip Bayless is an idiot. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> he says, like, hey, pay me, pay me what Fox is paying him, and I'll go say whatever ridiculous <laughs> shit. I'll go out there and say whatever ridiculous shit you want me to say. I'll say it. He's, pay me what they're paying a, him. He's a genius idiot. He's an, yes. He's a genius, like, yeah. uh, yes. entertainment figure. He's a dumbass. Uh, I, what's, what's crazy, whenever, like, years ago, whenever he was, like, on cold pizza, back whenever first cake was cold pizza, who remembers those days? I'm old. I remember that shit. Oh, I do. He was he was actually entertaining. He, like, to me, he like he actually had good takes from time to time. Like he he always he was always like the hot take guy. But like he always like had thought behind him. But now he's just a character. Like yeah. if you watch his eyes and stuff, whenever he's on TV, like his face and stuff, like how he reacts. So like and I can't, and I can't stand Shannon Sharp. Like I I I can't stand. I I, I never liked Shannon Sharp. Listen, skip. Listen, skip. Whenever he whenever he was on CBS. Sunday morning. Skip. I couldn't stand him. Like, Here's the thing, Skip. <laughs> but, like, I just feel like Skip Bayless made, made like, he turned himself into a character. Like, he, he, he went from a, he went from, like, a legit hot take guy to just a character who just spouts ridiculous nonsense. Yeah. The soul like, the soul. But hey, you know what? He, he's getting paid. I'll spout, I'll paid. spout ridiculous wow. nonsense on, on national TV if you pay me what they're paying him. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so that'll do it for us today, unless anyone has anything else they want to add about anything. Go Buccaneers. Okay, there's that. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, hey, hopefully the Panthers can pull the upset today. We can have uh, two 2-0 two teams in the NFC South. No, thank you. That'd be nice. Well, okay. there's probably going to be two because the Saints, Saints, Saints won last week. Yeah, they beat, they beat the Panthers. Ah, yeah. No matter what, there's two 2-0 two yeah. teams. Yeah, no matter what. Shut up, okay? <laughs> I, was, I was drunk until 3 o'clock in the morning last night, so just, just, just calm, calm down. So, all right. <laughs> Maybe the Falcons will beat Tampa. Maybe. Hey, that'd be nice. <laughs> hey, Falcons. Falcons beat the Bucks. Panthers win. Pa- Panthers beat the Saints. Panthers alone in first place in the NFC South by the end of the day. That'd be something, wouldn't it? I think right right there is where we're going to end the video. You guys have a good one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good one. Enjoy the football. <laughs>